Hello and welcome to the course WebGIS Development 2021. So in this course we are going to build this kind of WebGIS portal from scratch. So we are going to use the leaflet in GeoServer for the for building this kind of interface. So here you can see we have different layers in the left side panel so that we can toggle on and off to visualize these layers and then also we can change the opacity of layer as well like this this kind of interface will be very handy and useful for overlaying two layers uh, top of uh, on above and the and then we can uh, do the spatial analysis like this and as you can see based on our selection our legend will be changed that means the legend will be added uh, dynamically based on our selection of layers and apart from that uh, we are going to develop the other tile layers so that we can change the tile layer to visualize our layer uh, over different base maps like this currently we we have here dark map watercolor map google street and google satellite by default the OSM will be there and uh, for the user friendly interface we have added this scale bar so that uh, based on our zoom level we can see this scale is changing and also here is the latitude and longitude information which will show our mouse coordinate mouse latitude and longitude and these are the some common use case of webgis portal so apart from this we have this basic functionality over here let me select this land parcel and then if i click on this default zoom level button it will go back to the default zoom level let's suppose if i am zooming here then if i click this button then it will render our map to the default uh, map location and this button is for the full screen view of map so if i click this button it will automatically render our map to the full browser interface and by clicking again it will render our map in the default view this info button is currently not working anyway and then for this print button so if i click this button it will print our map in the printer otherwise also we can save this map as a pdf and then we can share this map okay these are the common functionality also if you click on the map you will get the information about this uh, particular feature for for example i am in the land parcel so if i click on any of the parcel i will get the information from this shape file actually this one is the shape file so let me select this building so if i select any buildings so i'll get the information about this building like this okay so we are going to build this kind of handy and interactive interface for visualization of our geospatial data i hope you will enjoy this course I am really excited to see you inside the course. Thank you.